Do you know there are certain types of fish you should never eat? Yes, you heard that right. Not all fish are created equal, especially when it comes to the ones ending up in your sushi rolls. Some fish carry more risks than others, and these can have serious implications for your health. High levels of mercury, for instance, can lead to neurological issues in humans. It's a sneaky poison that accumulates in large predatory fish. The greater the fish's size and lifespan, the higher the risk. Then there's the sustainability issue. Overfishing is depleting our oceans at an alarming rate, endangering marine ecosystems and pushing some species towards extinction. By consuming these fish, we're inadvertently contributing to the problem. It's time to cast a critical eye on what's being served on our plates. We need to know what we're eating and understand the impact our choices can have. Now, let's dive into the deep sea of knowledge and learn about these fish. First on our list is the king mackerel. This majestic sea monarch is known for its robust flavor and creamy texture. But don't let its royal title fool you. King mackerel is notorious for its high mercury content. Mercury, a heavy metal that can be found in our oceans, accumulates in fish like the king mackerel. It's a stealthy predator, not in the waters, but within our bodies. Consuming significant amounts of mercury can lead to serious health problems, including neurological damage. Symptoms can range from memory problems to muscle weakness, and in severe cases can even lead to loss of coordination. This is particularly alarming for pregnant women and young children whose developing nervous systems are especially vulnerable. So, while it might be tempting to enjoy this king's rich flavor, the potential risks simply aren't worth it. So it's best to avoid king mackerel, especially for pregnant women and young children. Next, we have the tile fish. This seemingly innocuous swimmer is more than meets the eye. The common tile fish is known for its vibrant hues and the delectable flavor it brings to the culinary world, but lurking beneath its appealing exterior is a not-so-pleasant secret. You see, tile fish, particularly those hailing from the Gulf of Mexico, are known to harbor high levels of mercury. Mercury, a heavy metal, can pose serious health risks when ingested in large quantities. It can affect the nervous system, impair cognitive function, and even lead to cardiovascular problems. While the occasional tilefish meal might not pose a significant risk, frequent consumption could lead to mercury accumulation in the body, thus raising the health hazards. So the next time you're at the seafood market or ordering at your favorite restaurant, you might want to think twice before opting for tilefish. Remember, not all that glitters is gold. In the case of tilefish, it's mercury. Now let's talk about swordfish. A delicacy to some, but a potential health hazard to all. Swordfish, as majestic as it may be in the open waters, carries a secret burden. It is one of the ocean's biggest accumulators of mercury, a toxic heavy metal that poses serious health risks. This is a result of a process called biomagnification, where toxins accumulate at higher levels as you move up the food chain. And guess who sits at the top of the food chain? That's right, we humans. Consuming swordfish exposes us to these high levels of mercury. Now, why is mercury a concern? Well, it's been linked to neurological disorders, cardiovascular diseases, and immune system impairment. Pregnant women and young children are particularly at risk as it can affect developing nervous systems. Swordfish, a double-edged sword indeed. While it might be a culinary delight, the health implications are far from delightful. With swordfish, the risk certainly outweighs the reward. Next on our list is the orange roughy. This deep sea dweller boasts an impressive lifespan that can extend up to a staggering 150 years. Yet this longevity is not without its drawbacks. The orange roughy's long life allows it to accumulate significant amounts of toxins over time. It's like a sponge, soaking up mercury and other harmful substances from its environment. These toxins, unfortunately, don't just disappear when the fish is caught and cooked. They make their way onto your plate and into your body, posing potential health risks. The orange roughy's diet of small fish and squid also contributes to its high toxin levels. This dietary habit further compounds the buildup of toxins, creating a potent cocktail of chemicals that are not suitable for human consumption. In this case, age is not just a number. It's a warning sign. So when it comes to the orange roughy, it's best to let them live their long lives in peace. Now let's move on to sharks. In the culinary world, sharks are often hailed for their unique flavor, However, beneath this appealing taste lies a hidden threat to your health. Sharks, being the apex predators they are, accumulate high levels of mercury in their bodies. You see, mercury is a neurotoxin, 
It's harmful to humans, particularly affecting the brain and the nervous system. When we consume shark meat, we're essentially ingesting this mercury. It's like inviting a predator onto our plates. This can lead to numerous health problems, including heart disease, kidney damage, and even mental disorders. Pregnant women and children are especially vulnerable to these effects. The irony is, we're not the natural prey of sharks. So why should we make them our prey? The reality is, sharks are far more valuable to us alive, maintaining the balance in our ocean ecosystems than they are on our plates. So let's leave the sharks in the ocean, where they belong. Next up, imported catfish. Now this is where things get a bit murky. You see, not all catfish are created equal. While domestic catfish are subject to rigorous health and safety standards, the same can't be said for their imported counterparts. Foreign fish farms, especially in some countries, operate under lax regulations, which can lead to a host of problems. One major concern is the use of unregulated chemicals and antibiotics. These substances, often used to prevent disease in overcrowded fish farms, can end up in the fish and, ultimately, on your plate. This doesn't just pose a risk to your health, but also contributes to the global issue of antibiotic resistance. Furthermore, these chemicals can have a detrimental impact on the environment, polluting waterways and damaging ecosystems. So, when it comes to catfish, it's a bit of a fishy business. To keep it safe, stick to domestic catfish. Last but not least, we have Atlantic bluefin tuna. This majestic creature of the sea, appreciated for its delicious flavor and meaty texture, is unfortunately a victim of its own popularity. It's a common sight on sushi menus, but few know the heavy price we pay for this indulgence. Atlantic bluefin tuna is a reservoir of mercury, a toxic element that accumulates in the tissues of these fish. This isn't a trivial concern. Consuming mercury can lead to serious health issues, including damage to the nervous system, heart, and kidneys. Pregnant women and young children are especially at risk as it can impair neurological development. But the health risks are only one part of the story. There's another price to pay when we choose Atlantic bluefin tuna, the devastating cost to our oceans. Overfishing has driven the species to the brink of extinction. The demand for its rich, fatty meat has been so high that it's estimated that only a fraction of the original population remains in the wild. This is not just an issue for the tuna, but for the entire marine ecosystem. The Atlantic bluefin tuna is a top predator, and its decline can have cascading effects, disrupting the balance of life beneath the waves. It's easy to feel disconnected from these problems when we're sitting in a sushi restaurant miles away from the ocean. But every time we choose Atlantic bluefin tuna, we're contributing to these issues. We're supporting an industry that's driving a species to extinction, and we're ingesting a toxic element that can harm our health. So what can we do? We can make more sustainable choices. We can opt for fish that are lower in mercury and harvested in a way that doesn't deplete their populations. We can educate ourselves about the sources of our seafood. And most importantly, we can spread the word because awareness is the key to change. So the next time you're tempted by a tuna roll, remember, your choice can make a difference. To sum up, there are several types of fish that pose a risk to your health and the environment. The hidden dangers lurking in your sushi roll, the mercury-filled monarch, and the deceptive tilefish all present health risks due to high levels of mercury and other toxins. The double-edged sword and the unappetizing orange ruffy remind us that not all fish are created equal, with some posing higher health risks and others contributing to overfishing and habitat destruction. A predator on your plate and a fishy business underscore the importance of understanding where your seafood comes from and how it's sourced. Lastly, the price too high to pay serves as a stark reminder of the environmental consequences of unsustainable fishing practices. As we navigate the vast sea of seafood options, let's commit to making informed choices that prioritize not only our health, but also the health of our beautiful oceans. Remember, making smart seafood choices not only benefits your health, but also our beautiful oceans. Stay healthy and keep our seas thriving.